Hello guys, I wanted to uh, talk to you tonight about uh, a recent development with the New York Times. Uh, so apparently, they're not going to be uh, they're not going to be covering uh, war. And when I say war, I mean like uh, America's involvement in uh, mostly like the Middle East. Uh, the ongoing conflicts, like in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, <clears throat> the New York Times had a division called uh, Times at War, I think is what they call it. Uh, and uh, so, basically, they had two full-time reporters who would uh, be on the scene uh, in these countries that uh, were involved in... Uh, that we're waging war in, um, which is a variety of countries. It's like eight different countries, at least two, of, at least two, maybe three of which we have ground troops in. Uh, but it's hard to say because there really isn't a lot of uh, this kind of on the ground reporting done, which uh, is essential because you can only learn so much from your desk in 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 back in the United States. So it's, uh, it is, uh, definitely concerning, uh, because of course we've been at war, uh, as long as I can remember. I'm in, I mean, I'm 29 and we've been at war since I was 10 years old. Um, uh, it starting with Afghanistan, of course. And, uh, it's just, it's a mess and, and people are, people are sick of it and there's no end in sight. And it's just uh, just such a drain on, on our economy. I mean, you can argue whether or not... I mean, I definitely think we could spend some of our military budget elsewhere and definitely spend it better if we weren't so engaged in these conflicts in the Middle East. And uh, there's probably more to the picture. I mean, there, uh, the oil industry has, has definitely has something to do with it, but... And of course, the military in industrial complex, the, the thing that uh, Eisenhower warned us all about. Uh, but uh, yeah, so without getting off topic, it's just uh, so these two reporters, I guess there were two full time on the ground reporters, and they're going to be uh, reassigned to domestic issues like domestic terrorism, mass shooting, something like that. Uh, they're going to be, they're not going to be overseas in these war-torn countries giving us the real scoop. And uh, they've given us some important information, um, one of which, one story had to do with, uh, I think it was uh, some something having to do with warlords, I think, in Iraq, where... Or, or Libya. It was, it was somewhere over in the Middle East, but there were these, there were these warlords who had child sex slaves, and it was thanks to the New York Times at War uh, reporting on the ground that we were able to get that information. There's just information that you can only get um, when you're there. So uh, you're, you got your two biggest traditional news sources, uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post, and they both do good work on occasion when it comes to the wars. Uh, there's not nearly enough coverage of the wars, uh, abroad, uh, you know, overall, but, uh, this is a big one that is, is ending, you know, they're, they're, I mean, they might still talk about the wars, but they're not going to have that on the ground coverage, which provides revelations they couldn't get anywhere else. So, uh, sad to say we're going to be missing out on, uh, some of the real stories that can only happen, that can only develop when uh when you've got reporters on the ground. So uh who knows what they're gonna be covering from this point on, but it's uh another blow to our uh to our ability to you know, to our information, you know, the ability for us to get that kind of information to uh you know, the American people deserve to know what's going on over there with their tax dollars and what their government is doing with their money. So uh and we won't have that as well as we had before, which is pretty pretty bad because uh 
we already didn't get much coverage on the wars. The wars really aren't talked about like they should, and it's about to get and it's about to get even worse. All right, thanks for your time, guys.